the temperature is changing. It is cuffing season. And with the change of temperatures, the homosexuals will be out looking for a host to latch onto. So some definitions and terms that you need to know. Cuffing season is basically the time of year when peeps want to have someone to cuddle with during the chilly months and have someone to take to holiday parties. Also, they just want a warm place to land. Nomadic lifestyle. This is a definition new to me. We're here to exchange information and learn from each other. Nomadic lifestyle is basically that person who is living the van life and prefers to live off the grid, you know, like the movie Nomad. I have a friend who's a nomad. She always visits for Christmas and went, then she's gone again. She's part of a really supportive nomadic community. Hobosexual typically refers to a person who doesn't have stable housing that will date you for housing. A hobosexual isn't typically a nomad as nomads are cool being nomads. They're doing their thing, living their best life off the grid. So just understand a hobosexual is just looking for a host that has Wi-Fi, a warm, um, a warm roof over their head, and maybe some soup. I love that social media is coming together and helping to warn others so that they don't become that host that has something just taking all of your time, energy, and resources. That is the great thing about these social media social media communities. So this is a a whole thread of women warning other women. So this person who is the one that gave all of the definitions is the one that started this Reddit thread. She says, as we creep towards cuffing season, a reminder for single women that homosexual season is ramping up. No, seriously, there are even a bunch of TikToks offering tips on being a successful homosexual. Stay vigilant, happy dating everyone. Now I'm just gonna read you some comments Take these comments, use these as learning tools, role plays, talk to your friends, use these as a way to recognize red flags. This woman says, my sister married her homosexual. Then every once in a while, she'd wonder out loud, did he marry me just to get out of living in his sister's basement? And she laugh and laugh while we watch in horror because yes, he did. I was at a dinner party the other night and a man I have been, I have seen here and there as in his 50s and a homosexual just asked me about what I'm doing during the holidays, especially Thanksgiving. I just said, I'm traveling out the country. It's starting already. Camille says, he'll want access to your home while you're away. And she responded with, perhaps he does, but I got up to get dessert as soon as I told him and sat in another seat far away from him. He also said he put his profile up on many online dating sites. Everybody doesn't know what cuffing season is. Everybody doesn't know that there are homosexuals out to get your time, energy, and resources. So that is the reason um, that these threads are so powerful. So this woman says, I'm so out of the loop. I had to look up both homosexual and cuffing in the OP comments to understand what they meant. And then somebody says, I figured out homosexual on my own, but still have no clue about cuffing. Um, So this is where we're all learning. This is a process. Cuffing refers to the holidays and colder months. You meet someone, they are cuffed together, but only so they have a partner for the holidays. And basically, so they're warm during the cold weather months. And then once it thaws out and people are ready for spring, then they're uncuffed. This woman says, ha. I just got a call from a guy I dated for a couple of months last year, friends with benefits, but we're actually good friends until he fell off the wagon. Never told me he was an alcoholic and what a freaking mess he was. Anyway, he called to see how I was doing and wanted to get some dinner. Told me he'd been sober for over a couple of months. So I just said, okay to dinner because he was a friend and it was just dinner. He picked the restaurant. Then I asked him if he was still living in his old place. He had a roommate and I was going to tell him to say hi, but he said he wasn't living there anymore. Pretty sure he was kicked out. Then he admitted he was living in his van. Then he asked if he could, if I would come pick him up at work because he wasn't sure he could park his van at the restaurant. What? LOL. Then why did he pick that particular restaurant? I told him I decided to pass on dinner and don't contact me again. I'm pretty sure he was hoping he could just come stay with me. Um, Then this person says, wait till the author hits 55 and learns that homosexuals are not nearly exclusive, exclusively in their 30s. Edit under 30. Yes, 
homosexuals can span the gamut of ages. It is not age exclusive. This person says, man, did I get caught by cuffing season last year? It's a thing, people. Prepare to be love bombed. Then Josie says, me too. Ugh. And then she responds it with, being love bombed is sort of like donating a kidney, a kidney once is enough. Recognize what love bombing is. There are certain people who are desperate to get housing, desperate for some soup. So they will say they will fall in love within three and a half days. You will be the best thing ever that has ever happened to them. They cannot believe that God, goddess, Buddha, somebody did not bring you into their life sooner. And then next thing you know, they're asking to live with you and marry you. That's basically what love bombing is. OK, so then we're getting clarification in the in the comments. So which is it then? Is it cuffing season or nomadic life or homosexual? Don't confuse me. I thought those were all different things, maybe slightly related. Are we lumping them into a category now? Recognize there is a Venn diagram. Some nomads do not have to be homosexual. Some nomads are specifically nomads and want to travel and live off the grid. Then there are some homosexuals that might be nomads, but they're only nomads because they don't have any place else to stay. They would rather live in a host shelter and get their time, energy, and resources. But this person says it's both the homosexual will be eager to be cuffed so they can enjoy your bigger home, better fireplace, hot tub, anything else you have to offer that's better than what he's got. If you don't provide it for him, be clear. Someone else will because he will be bringing his bedroom skills with him that will charge, that will change your brain chemistry. It's the only talent they have and they will use it well to get into your house for the winter. Recognize they are doing this for survival. They are using their pain for survival. So it has to it has to get you caught up and get you digmatized. It has to happen. So be prepared. Be prepared. Get through this cuffing season with your eyes wide open. So I'm going to end it with this one. You have got to know that sometimes it is not your fault for being love bombed. They do this. This is what they do. They are skilled at it because they do it for survival. So this person says, don't feel bad for falling for it. You won't know it happened to you until it happens to you. You won't know. The homosexual could. So you don't know. He could have his own place. He just doesn't like it. Avoid this man. Um, avoiding this man can be done, but they are usually players, handsome enough, giving you enough attention and time to think, hmm, maybe this can work. Then you date them and the sex is so good. You've lost your mind. Allow anything. It's terrible. Then they move in. They move on slowly. So you don't notice you don't get together. Um, you don't get together anymore. And then you fade it to ghosted and then you're a wreck. Looking back, I'll say this about your your and my situation. We went into these relationships for real, wanting a real connection. We did nothing wrong, but like people who are passing time or using us. We can learn from it. You can teach other people as well. So just know these signs. We are on the social media streets showing women red signs. I mean, red flags. We are here to do that. We're here to help women understand that this happens so that when some of these things start to happen, someone leaving a toothbrush here, some people um, leaving a clue here like, man, I really like your couch. You'll know that this is probably a homosexual. Please, please be aware of signs and tell the others. You guys go ahead, jump in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And like I said, tell the others. So share these videos or make your own.